let's look at uh, this equation of a quadratic equation where we want to solve this. Now this is not a simple quadratic equation. This will end up with uh, non-real roots. Okay, so what does it mean? So let us gra uh, let us first uh, solve this by completing square method. So I'm going to write this as x squared minus 4x plus 4 minus 4 plus 5. Now you may wonder what did I do here. So what I have done is I have uh, made this a perfect square. Now how did you get the 4? You, what you do is you do the half of the middle term. So minus 4 divided by 2 is minus 2. And then you square it. So negative 2 squared is 4. So it will always work to make it a complete square. And of course this coefficient should be 1. So half of negative 4 is negative. Half of 4 is negative 2. And then square it 4. So adding 4, taking away 4. So basically this and this cancels each other out. Okay, so this is nothing but 0. Now this has got two groups here. So this is this is a perfect square of, let me bring back my black color. So this is x minus 2, the whole squared, plus 1 is equal to 0. Now what does this mean graphically? So let me explain. This doesn't have any real root. So if you graph this, this is the y-axis and this is the x-axis. And this is a parabola. So it goes somewhat like this. Okay. So it's not drawn to scale. So this vertex, this is the vertex. So we're only talking about the vertex. This is the basic y is equal to x squared parabola. So this point or the x coordinate of is 2 and the y coordinate is 1. Okay, or basically the transformation is the basic parabola y is equal to x squared has, this is the transformation of this parabola. This parabola has become this. So it has gone 2 to the right. So where did I get the 2 from? This is the this 2. This negative means it has gone to the right. And this plus means it has plus 1 means it has gone up. Okay, so this now if you want to check this on a calculator, so let me show you on a calculator. So menu, you go to graph, and you type in x squared minus 4x plus 5. And this is your parabola, and then you go GSOL and minima. So your vertex is 2 comma 1. Okay, now I want to, this uh, if suppose you're learning only real numbers, we say there are no real roots. You can't find any real roots uh, for this equation. Okay, now any equation has to have roots. If you say it has no root, mathematically it doesn't make sense. So what are we going to do? I'm going to take away 1 from both sides. So I can say x minus 2, the whole squared, is equal to negative 1. So what have I done? I've taken away one from this side, so it'll take away one from this side. Now is where it becomes interesting. Now, by definition, i is a number, i is called an imaginary number, is defined as square root of negative one. Square root of negative one is i, that's the definition. Because we, this, this implies i squared is equal to negative 1. So i is a, let me draw an axis, it goes, this is your z axis, imagine this to be your, let me draw the z axis, so this is, I want you to look at this in a, in a 3D way, so this is your z axis, this is x axis, and this is your y axis. So this axis is uh, going perpendicular to x-axis. So if you if you can look, imagine the xz plane, your i, this is say i plus i, and this is your minus i. I hope you can see what I'm trying to show. So the this is 1 on the x-axis. This is 1 on the x-axis. So this point this is a point in the xz plane, okay? 
and this is one it's not this this point somewhere here I can't show you this is R of course so a point which corresponds to one on the x-axis and I on the z-axis is called one plus I okay I'll not go into that I think so yeah by definition I can write x minus 2 the whole squared is equal to I squared so if you take the square root of both sides, I can say x minus 2 is equal to plus or minus, plus or minus square root of r squared. Okay, so this is x minus 2, x minus 2, x minus 2 is equal to, is equal to, plus or minus i and then adding 2 to both sides so x is 2 plus or minus i which implies x1 one, one root is 2 plus i and x2 the other root is 2 minus i now just to show you what it means graphically it's very difficult to show this so 2 plus i 2 plus i is somewhere in the xz plane I hope you understand two from the imagine or uh, look at a point which corresponds to two on the x-axis and i on the imaginary axis so you have to imagine a plane which is perpendicular to this xy plane now this plane this screen is can we can call as a xy plane so if you imagine a plane which is perpendicular to xy plane you can call that an xz plane imagine a plane which is popping out of this plane okay hopefully you understood that so the these are the two roots okay if you want to do this on the calculator you can do this so if you go to menu and then you go to equation and then you go to polynomial two degree so you type in one negative four and five and then solve it so it has no real roots because the calculator by default has got real root setting. So if you go to complex mode, you type in F2 and then you go solve. So this is your root, 1, 2 plus i and the other root is 2 minus i. Okay, so let me so do the next equation. So I'll do this faster. So this is x squared minus 2x. To make it a perfect square, I should write plus 1 take away 1 plus plus 17 is equal to 0. So this is a perfect square which is x plus x minus 1 the whole squared plus 16 is equal to 0. Okay so this is x minus 1 the whole squared is equal to negative 16. So negative 16 can I write is 16 times negative 1. So I can say x minus 1, x minus 1, the whole squared is equal to 16i squared. So I can say x plus, sorry, x minus 1 is equal to plus or minus square root of 16i squared. So you can say x minus 1 is equal to plus or minus 4i and adding adding 1 to both sides I can say x is equal to 1 plus or minus 4i so these are the two roots so let us check this on a calculator so uh, getting my calculator out so I have to type in exit uh, the equation was I forgot the equation is x, x1, 1, negative 2, and 17. Okay, and then solve 1 plus 4i and 1 minus 4i. Hopefully, this has helped you. See you in the next video.